All right, here we go again. We continue with an idiot abroad, season one, episode five, Egypt. Oh, this is another one I'm excited for because I know what they're gonna say to Carl because I speak Arabic. I am, you know what? I mean, Egypt is not exactly a like Egypt is, is a tourist destination, you know. So, so it would be interesting to see what what Ricky and Steve cook up for Carl. What they put him through. I mean, the pyramids, of course, there's going to be pyramids. I know that already. You know, but um, what else is he going to do in Egypt? I mean, it's... That's interesting, actually. I'm intrigued. Anyway. Lego. Right, Carl. We've arranged for you to go to Egypt to see the, the Great Pyramids. Of course he did. I mean, that is a remarkable... Site. Truly one of the seven wonders of the world. Now, what do you know about the Great Over 4,000 years old. 4,000 years old. Are they the oldest thing on the world? <laughs> <laughs> what a question. I told you, he needs an absolute. Yeah. He needs an absolute. Yeah, they're the oldest thing on the world. Uh -huh. I mean, that's pretty amazing. That I'm going to see the oldest thing on the world. They're not the oldest <laughs> thing in the world, are they? How do you think they built it? Just took the time. <laughs> they didn't have any distractions. Now you yeah. see work, sure, it's like yeah. you've got to get yes. it done. That's it, Carl, that's We've it. We've got another job on. Back then, they'd just be going, this is what we've got to do, get it done, get it built. Go for that shape. And, and each day they would have well, just... Well, they went out, the foreman went, go for that shape. <laughs> and they went, all right. Yeah. All right, yeah. go on then, enjoy the pyramids. All right. Ah, that's interesting. I think we've got to send him economy. I think we've got to put him up in shacks and awful hotels. Why? And that'll be fun. Cairo. Okay. Yeah, the nice hotels seem to have gone now. It's not good, is it? Yeah. This is grim round here. Yeah. Something looks grim in the dark. You know, it's not going to be better in the day, don't you? to hear Michael Payne Monty Python. Oh. And has he been back since? No. Ah. Thank you. How long are we here? Huh? How long are we here for? Hmm. I mean... <laughs> Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just a... it says... Well, the first word is market soup. I can't read the other word. God damn, who wrote this? Anyway, it's just some kind of market. You, you know what, but, but looking at the... at the bedroom, I mean, it's... it's already better than some of the places he's been, to be honest. So, so it's not that bad, so far. I don't, I don't know what, I mean, it's, this is, this is a bit of a, it's a little bit... A bit worn out, yeah. Look at it. Yeah. Did Ricky and Steve know this was... Well, they knew Michael Palin stayed here. Yeah, I know, but it was, you know, it was 30 years ago. <laughs> a lot's changed. You know, I was still at school. <laughs> how, how many days am I here? Yeah, one soap. There's a, there's a piano right outside the room. Oh. Well, when do they start playing that piano? Because it's literally right there. If they start having a sing-along, I'm... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sit on that. Yeah. Sit on that. Is there a mattress on it? Sit on yeah. that, honest to God, sit on that. It is unbelievable. Oh, God. How am I going to sleep? Ah, what the hell's that? It's Turn a bit cosy now. Ricky will be happy. Ricky will be over the moon with this when he sees this. Because he wanted to annoy me. I don't know how this is teaching me anything about sort of, you know... Egypt? Being Egyptian. <laughs> I mean, Good point. the fella who owns the place, his dad's 96. 
There's yeah. no way you live to be 96 by living on a bed like that in a damp room like this. <laughs> and having them at it all night, bibbing. I'll leave it there. Oh, the pyramids are right there. Central. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing today. Because I haven't heard from Ricky and Steve yet, so I'm, I'm just going to go, you know, go out for a wander. There you go, that's a market, uh, that's not about, that bad. Deal with some locals, you know, and that's the plan really. No oh, thanks mate, you're alright. That's no drink. Oh what? All the drink is 10 pounds. Coca-Cola, Sprite, water, tea, cafe, cafe, cappuccino, mango, lemon, orange, beer, all the drink, 10 pounds. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all right at the moment, but I might, I might pop in later on. My name is Sharif, OK? Sharif. Sharif. Welcome to Egypt. Cheers, Come Sharif. Here, okay? I'll be there for a drink if I, want, if, I want, if I want to get a drink. Yeah, Cheers. No, it's all right. I've just had a word with Sharif. He's, he's <laughs> going to look after me when I... What is this, when Sharif? I... Sharif, no coffee. This is heat. That's heat? Coffee, yes. OK. So if I want a drink, see you and see you for something to eat. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Have a nice time. I will do. No Thanks problem. a lot. Come Cheers. back here and no, no, okay, no problem. If I want a my drink or something. My name's Sharif. Sh <laughs> He's Sharif as well. My name's Sharif, I'm a Sharif. Oh, my Sharif. I'm a Sharif, I'm a Sharif. I'm a Sharif. This book's here. I'll pop in here if I'm hungry. Okay, man. All right. Hang on, hold on. Hold on. How many of these guys have used this, uh, <laughs> this method? For, with with like Western tourists, like my name is Omar Sharif. We're all Omar Sharif. We've been Omar Sharif for for like the past forty years. <laughs> they can't be all. I can't at least say you're either Omar or Sharif. You can't be Omar and Sharif. Come on, it cannot be a coincidence. I mean, obviously they they're using this tactic to, you know, to get friendly with the Westerners because like that's the only thing you guys know about Egypt, the pyramids and Omar Sharif. Anyway, moving on. I'm not, I'm not hungry at the moment. All right. Hold on a second. This guy just said, what? This guy said, his name is Nofi and he takes it. The hell is he talking about? Unless it's some kind of inside joke. Some kind of like dirty joke that they said to the guy. His name is Nofi and he takes it. What the hell did you just say? I've, I've, honestly, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right, all right. Cheers, one. Say again? What do you want? Drink? I'm just, I'm just walking through. If I get thirsty, I'll pop by. Jesus. <laughs> do you know what? I've, I'm, I'm not that hungry at the moment. Yes? Yeah, I was back there. I've sort of gone off food a little bit. I'm, I'm OK at the moment. Yeah. Right. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Damn. I've, I've already got some. Don't smoke. If I wanted a watch, I'd, I'd buy one off you. Don't need. For a woman. My girlfriend's head is slightly bigger. <laughs> I, I don't need any glasses. Oh, Jesus Christ. If there's one thing that's done me head in since I've been here, it's all this. You can't walk down here. Forget, like, just using it as a cut-through, because it's not a shortcut. It can't be a shortcut, because you get stopped every few seconds. You all right? So, I mean, I bet she left the house when she was 10. Seriously, it takes you forever to get anything done here. Sleep at all. Uh, I didn't make it really noisy. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to go over and see the pyramids today. That's the plan. That's why I'm in Egypt, isn't it? I mean, I, I wish I could have seen them sooner. You know, the sooner I see them, the sooner I can go home. But, um, yeah, Steve sorted out some local bloke who's got a camel. He's going to take me over there on one of them. OK, more camels. I've got an horse. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know what? This, his experience with camels had, not, had better not be like the last one because that really pissed me off. They had vans, they had pickup trucks, and they still, they, they were still killing those poor camels just for the show. I mean, that, that was really messed up. Anyway, moving on. 
sort of burnt the horse's arse with a fag end and it bolted and I was on, on it and falling off the edge. So I've always said I'd never go on any animal that's sort of bigger than me. So it's a little bit crazy, but it seems to be the way they get around here anyway. They're all using uh, donkeys and yeah. camels. and So as long as nobody's near me with a fag end, I should be all right, really. <laughs> it's crazy here, though, isn't it? It's a non-touristy bit, isn't it? This is, this is what it's all about. So, uh, yeah, meeting this fella. Uh, need to use his toilet straight away. Is that rude? No, it should be all right. Mahmood. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm Carl. You're welcome. All right. Come in. How are you doing? Do you mind if I, I, if I use your toilet quickly? It's just that what? I've drank a lot of coffee this morning. I'm dying for the for the so week. That's my family here. Hello. Hello. Who's, who's that? Cooking tea. Is that your girlfriend or...? <laughs> your mother. Your mother? Come on, man. <laughs> She's not your mother. She is. <laughs> Come on, Carl. No way. <laughs> no way. Come on. How can you...? No way. Carl must have done that one on purpose. I refuse to believe he thought that was the girlfriend of this guy. Come on. That's ridiculous. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. Can I ask how old she is? She's 38. She is my mother. In our family, we married when we were very young. Yes. How old are you? I'm 22 and I have a child. Mm -hmm. Chickens. Oh, I nearly did that. <sighs> That's better. That's me. I'm a wife. Is that it now for life? Are you settled now? You'll just stay with this woman? I can have one if I want. If I feel like I want one, more, I can. There are four mm. women. Well, you're allowed four women. Hold on. Four women. Oh, just, 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 just. Let's clarify something. Y yeah, he says if I, if I want, I can have. Yeah, but that one will probably cut off his balls. So, so it's not as easy as as you think it is. It's the, yeah, you're allowed to have four, but what does number one think of, of number two? <laughs> you know, she's just gonna let, sit back and let you. Yeah, so it's not as easy as cool as this guy is making it sound. Moving on. I can have, I want to. Yeah, but I'm right. happy till now. Yeah. But I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I yourself. bet you are. I mean, yeah. you're only 22. Oh. Spread it out a little bit, you know. Do you know like how Snow White had like a happy midget, <laughs> miserable one? Uh, happy midget. She had like a mixture. <laughs> Would you go for a totally different woman? So that if you're in the mood for someone to be happy, mm. you go, oh, I'll see her today. Yes. Life is too short, man. Uh, One, two, three. Uh, Hang on a minute. Here we go. Hold on tight on here. Whoa! Jesus. Put the eye up, listen. All right. You just need to hold well. I'm holding on. All right. What's going on. Kick out. <laughs> Bollocks. Bollocks are squashed. <laughs> is that you or the camel? I'm huh? guessing that's is a that camel, you? buddy. Wow. That sounded human. That's the camel, man. <laughs> yeah, Better rocking left and right makes things happen. What you got to remember is I'm getting the back draft. <laughs> 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 How are you doing? This guy's bigger than the donkey. It's chronic, isn't it, today? You can't even see the pyramids. Come all this yeah. way and, and that's the view you get. Yeah, to that point. I mean, the idea is now that I stand there and I'm blown away. That's, that's what's meant to happen, isn't it? I mean, I am getting blown away, but mainly by the, by the wind that's going on here. We've got a sandstorm on, I've got sand in my eyes. I can't see anything anyway, even if it was a clear day. I don't, it's a bit annoying. You know, I thought it'd feel more special than this. I keep getting messages from home. I mean, Suzanne's moaning about the boiler again. That's, that's starting to play up. Normally that's my problem, but now I'm away, I've made it her problem. And then I'm also getting messages, I'll show you this one, 
from Ricky. He just keeps sending stuff because he knows it costs me money to receive them. <laughs> just sent away. Uh, 70 pence. Because <laughs> he knows that it's cost me about 70p for him to send that. There's nothing else in there. He's not asking how are you. You know, what are you up to? What have you seen? Are you enjoying it? 70p. <laughs> That's all he said. <laughs> Windsor. <laughs> okay. it's, it's just comfy wear, isn't it? I mean, this is is like pajamas at the end of the day. I mean, the problem it's is true. I've been getting mozzy bites and stuff. So I wanted something with sort of longer sleeves on it to sort of keep them away. Uh, it's just comfy. Loads of room in it. It's awesome. Yeah. Normally pajamas sort of roll up your arms and your legs and that, but this is, you know, it's all right, isn't it? I mean, that's a good thing if you lived here. You could just sort of. If you start work at nine, you can get out of bed about five to. <laughs> Keep it on. Straight off. Steve sent me a text and said, meet up with a lad called Ahmed. He's going to show me around the place. Good one. Hold on. It's not. It's, this, is, this is a confusion, a point of confusion between Arabic and Hebrew. It's not Ahmed, it's Ahmed in Arabic. But I'm guessing it's Ahmed, maybe in Hebrew. Uh, yeah, I just needed to say that. Because <laughs> you can imagine how many times I've heard, you know, like like English-speaking people go, go Ahmed. It's like, no, it's ah, Ahmed. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, yeah here's a gap. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah? Good job. Easy. Now we are Egypt. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, wow. If you saw that at home, you presume it was a pet shop. What's a pet shop? Oh, Animals that you no, buy. No, no. That's for food. It's all for food. food. So when you look at that, rabbits, you go, yeah. mm, rather than, uh, well, yeah, we eat them. Sister, a cotton. A feel? Egyptian cotton. So what would people do with this? For mattresses. I could do with that actually at the hotel. Ooh, there you go. Right. We'll do a bit of practice about haggling. You need to haggle, otherwise you will get tripped off. Hang on, so I come in your shop, I'm I'm browsing, I'm looking around. Right. Looking at your This is the finest piece we have. And it's what? for 100. 100 English. Seems a bit expensive that. Now you need to tell me. You need to tell me, just reduce it, you say 10. So you want me to buy the water then? I didn't really come in here Hagel. for that, I came in here for an ashtray. Haggle, haggle, Carl. Do you sell ashtrays? No, we're trying. OK. Have you got Hagel. an ashtray? No, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it then. <laughs> right, I'd sack you. If you had a shop, I would get rid of you. If I owned a shop and you worked in there, that's, that's rubbish. <laughs> Hi, my friend. How can I take your money? Thank you. Oh, nice. How can I take your money? Can $1,000 say, please? <laughs> Welcome to Cairo. Welcome. <laughs> you must be able to go lower than 160. 160 is nothing. What about 90? <laughs> you want to get it for free? No, never mind. You are a very clever guy, but I don't agree with your price. Egyptian wall. Egyptian. Egyptian. Oh, man, man. oh, God. You know what? I know a lot of people love these kinds of markets. I, I can't. They drive me crazy. I can't pass by every single guy yelling at me, telling me, come and buy my stuff. And, and my ears can only take so much. And they're all next to each other. And it's always these long lines of, of small shops. You know, and they're all outside. And they're all talking at the same time. And they're all loud. I just can't do it. It's like there's nothing fun. There's nothing fun to me about, like, you know, about those kinds of markets. Yeah. I thought you agreed 110. No, I said 120 for you. We'll get money off with the nose missing. Mm. Well, I've been out all day, you know, seeing how the locals live, which is what it's all about. Thought the day was coming to an end. Thought I'd be able to, you know, relax a little bit. And I've just got a message from Ricky and Steve saying they've sorted out a place for me to have my tea tonight. Which is a bit of a worry. 
I'll get you the special of the day. Typical Egyptian food. Yeah. Oh Cheers. no, what is that? It's a bit annoying. He's just cooking something for me, I don't know what it is. Oh, God, no. I don't like hummus that much. Hummus, couscous, anything like that, I don't, I just don't have that sort of stuff. It's not a meal, it's a garnish. I would have loved just uh, chicken and chips. Just something not too challenging. I just want a meal, I'm hungry. Well, you know what? I mean, the only thing I know about, uh, like, 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 some of the weird foods that I know Egyptians eat are, are rabbits and, and pigeons. I know that much. But I don't know what the hell that guy's doing. We'll see. Maybe I forgot something. I mean, yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of things that, that some people eat that I just can't, don't have the stomach for, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see. I've never experimented that much with food. I didn't have pasta till I was about <laughs> 21, 22. Oh, this, this must be. Uh, I think this was the first episode, right? Somebody said. I, I think more than one person has said this is the first episode that they filmed. So at this point, he hasn't really, you know, done the stuff that he's done in the other uh, episode. He hasn't swallowed a worm. He hasn't eaten whatever he, the hell he's eaten in China. He hasn't eaten whatever the hell he's eaten in India. You know, uh, <laughs> even in Mexico. It's like, like so, so, he had no idea what's in store, did he? <laughs> yeah. All right. Go in. Okay, what is that? No, ask first, Carl. Ask what it is. Oh, I got God. a bit of a taste of that at the end, and I'm sure I knew what it was. Let me just have a, have a bit again. I'm oh, sure right. I've had it before. Okay. It's rubbery. Rubbery. Chewy. It's rubbery. Quite beefy. How about it's not testicle? Beef. That's a testicle. Aha. Uh -huh. And that's why it's rubbery. Yeah. Penis. Normally, on a Monday night, probably have a little bit of lamb that's left over from Sunday dinner or something. And yet, you know, this Monday night, cock and bollocks, a couple of eyes. <laughs> A uh, couple of hours. Bit of tongue, you know, for garnish. Yeah. I never thought I'd be saying that. It's supposed to be good for you as a male. But why, why do you use everything to that degree? We kind of eat everything. Nothing goes to waste. And besides, it's delicious. Well, out, out of, yeah, I said, well, I didn't say delicious. I didn't say delicious. Oh, okay. You, you put, put no. words in your mouth as, along with other things. <laughs> I was telling him like, oh, it's 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 good for you. You know what? Carl vomiting is not good for him. What is oh, God? I have nothing to say. Moving on. Jeez. Hello. Hello. Why are you cold? What? How is it? How's the hotel? It's uh. Can you hear that? It's just, it's just car horns and that, constant. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> anyway, the hotel is pretty depressing. We never said it was going to be all luxury. You'll see, you've got to see Lily in Egypt, haven't you? That's, that's, you know what? Pause, pause. Come on. That, that, that's, that's not really <laughs> accurate, you know. Going to the bottom of Egypt does not mean you get to see the real Egypt. The, that, that's borderline offensive, to be honest. I mean, what? I mean, this is, Egypt also has some of the fanciest things ever. They have even casinos, and they have, you know, like all these beautiful views, and they have nightlife, and they have, they have a lot of stuff. You know, he, you deliberately picked the worst possible place in Egypt, and are you telling him that's the real Egypt? I mean, that that's just nuts. In a sense, I'll be honest, that was my dream. What the little little art? Yeah, have you bought one of them yet? No, I wasn't. I wasn't planning on sort of rushing out. Why don't you? Well, I think you've got to blend in. When in Rome? Yeah, but I told you, when in Rome, I'm happy to go along with it. I'll eat pasta. <laughs> 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 Literally. But Literally wrong. When in Egypt, right. 
They don't say, do they? No. When in Egypt, have a bollock for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got to go because I've got another bottle of wine. Yeah. Anyway. Right, see you later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> when Michael Palin goes working around the world, is this is this what it's like for him? Has he got racket going on like that outside? Has he got mates calling him up, annoying him? Hmm? I mean, when Palin went around the world in 80 days, I wonder if that was a scheduled time or if he just said, I'm sick of this, can we speed it up? <laughs> That's the head, yes. Um, I believe the name for that is Tarbush. At least, at least that's at least that's one of the names. It may have even more names than that, but I, I know the most common one is Tarbush. It's not better. I don't know. That's not better in any shape or form. I'd be quite happy going home now, honestly. You know, I've been here a few days. All right, I haven't seen the pyramids yet, but I bet most of the locals haven't. Because that's what happens, isn't it, when you live somewhere? You don't bother seeing the sort of touristy stuff. I haven't even seen Buckingham Palace yet. But the weather's bad, isn't it? So what, what am I meant to do? Do you know what I mean? So I'm just killing time, really, till it clears up. Steve sorted it out with Ahmed to show me around a museum, which apparently is world famous. That's what Steve said, and I was like, you mean world famous? She said, yeah, yeah, it's a world famous museum. I said, I haven't heard of it. He said, what do you mean I haven't heard of it? I said, I haven't heard of it. So, Carl, I would like you to join me on a journey through time. The moment we walk in, a long history of splendor and mystery will be unfolding. I will breathe life into history. So, um, I'm not looking forward to going around it, to be honest. You know, I mean, I don't go to museums at home, so I, I don't see what difference it makes just because it's in Egypt. We have clockwise from pre-dynastic to early dynastic, old kingdom, middle kingdom, new kingdom. So look here, there's a pharaoh is harpooning, a nine years old boy king. You cannot see the hippo he is harpooning. Why not? See, this is the magic, because with magic, that hippo will come into life. So again, coffin within a coffin, sarcophagus within a sarcophagus. And you can see in the cartouche, is a cartouche is the name of the pharaoh, the boy king. At some point, he was bringing back a pygmy. Was it a portrait? Can you avoid portraying the pharaoh? This is very hard, of course, to reconcile because the soul will be searching the car. <laughs> yeah, to I, find I, I think the pharaoh, the boy king. Carl's going come. crazy. Yes, you do have the cartoon with the boy king, but it helps even more. Coming in here with Ahmed, it's like a kid in a sweet shop. It's just, show you this, show you that, man. It's mental. And you can't take it all in. It's like going Christmas shopping on, you know, Christmas Eve in a department store. There's too much going on, there's too much to look at, there's too many people, you're being pushed along. It's a nightmare. If I want to call it a day here and get back to, I don't know, eating cock and bollocks again, it seems <laughs> more fun than this to me. That just seems to me like a bit over the top, a lot of, uh, a lot of gold, a bit sort of Peter Stringfellow-ish. It's exactly the same as my Auntie Nora's house with ornaments. <laughs> she keeps buying one, and then she has to buy a new shelf yeah. to put the ornaments up. It's like, I haven't got yeah. enough room to buy another shelf. She fills that and another. And that's what I'm saying about Ackman yeah. saying that expanding it. She, she, she probably put it right next to Victoria Plum. The gnomes, uh, Carl. I love, his world is so small. Like, those are his only, <clears throat> like, points of reference, you know? Like this, uh, this uh, famous, uh, you know, like a uh, uh, figure from history is like my brother. <laughs> this one is like my aunt. <laughs> this one is like my dad. <laughs> like, what? Dad, come on. You're talking about like, uh, pharaohs. And, uh, oh, God. You know, yeah, they, they're saying they're expanding it so more people can get in. But you know for a fact they'll go, oh, you've got more room, have you? Bring some more in. <laughs> get digging again. <clears throat> Hmm. Ah, nice. Good job, Kentucky. No. Here's what's the same. Can I get uh, two pieces of chicken? Two. What? It's a KFC for deaf people. Ooh. So what do I have to do? I don't understand. Well, do you just point? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, yeah. One of them. For one. Original. I don't quite know what's going on with me. Are, are they all there? Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Hello. Oh, Hello. stop. They're all, they're all there. Thanks a lot. Brilliant. Right. That was so, good. Okay, well, this is this is what they call product placement, I'm assuming. I mean, there's no way in hell he just decided to go into KFC and it have it. I'm, I'm sure this was all like, like tell, you know, tell Carl to go to one of our shops to, to show that we, we provide work opportunities for the deaf. Okay. Good idea. What, to have a deaf KFC? Well, yeah, because why not? You know, I don't, I don't come in here for a chat. You're coming here for food, <laughs> fast food. I'm taking it up even faster because they're not chatting behind that. A lot of the time in McDonald's, you know, they're all gabbing, aren't they, by the milkshake counter. But in here, it was quick. It's there in front of you. Point, bang, done, out. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, with technology, most of it, you don't really use it, do you? It's kind of like a toy. But seeing them use it, it sort of makes you realise it's a good invention, video calling mm -hmm. and picture messaging. But when Ricky sends me a picture, it's that sort of thing. <laughs> so, this is what I'm saying, nice. we don't sort of use it properly. They've got a proper use. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Pretty. I'd say that's the most annoying thing about being in this place. Just just being hassled all the time, no matter where you are, no matter what time of day it is, just constantly hassling you. Deaf deaf lad sort of tapped me on the back, gave me a bit of paper. Couldn't read it because it was all in, you know, Arabic. And, well, put uh, the camera on it so I can read it, to say it's a charity thing. And I went and gave him 100 Egyptian pounds, so he got 12 quid off me. He didn't even look that happy. I'm skinned by the end of tonight. Mm -hmm. Spent a lot of time with some deaf people in KFC, they were nice. I don't know if he was deaf. That's the thing with that one, isn't it? It's not like all the other disabilities where you can go, is he lying? Yeah. You know, you can see if someone's got a leg missing or blind or something, but with him. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. There you go. <laughs> My mum's the same, I think that's, that's who I get it off. My dad said she walked up to some fella who she thought was a big issue seller. He was stood there with the magazine like that in his hands. She walked up, she said, it's all right, you can keep the magazine, gave him a quid. Turns out it was just a fella stood outside going places with a holiday brochure in his hand. He kept it. All right. All right, can you hear me, Steve? Yeah, all right, mate. How's it going? Not too bad. Yeah, how are you? More importantly, did you go to the uh, Egyptian Museum today? Yeah, but I've seen that. I went to the Millennium Dome. I saw it. It's all the same stuff. All right, well, how about this? I've got something a little bit more cuts up your streets if you didn't like the museum. Go on. How do you fancy this? A Nile cruise. That sounds good. It's not my sort of night at all. It's just not the sort of entertainment thing I do. I mean, it's nice going down any river on a boat, but I do it in the day. At night, it's pointless. You can't see anything. No, I mean, the lights, the lights thing, are beautiful. It's like, you know you're there God, for a couple of hours. You know There's what? No... You know what? You know what? Ricky's right. He, he complains a lot. <laughs> he complains too much. Like, you are not happy with anything, Carl. Nothing. You are... Literally on a cruise at night, beautiful lights, beautiful meal, music, entertainment. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Just enjoy the damn thing. Getting away from it. So they could do anything once you're on there. He had some entertainment on with someone whizzing round and round and round. And he starts off, he's got like a quilt round him, and he starts spinning. 
And it was only when it had been spinning for about three minutes that I thought, oh, actually, it's pretty difficult. It's just been spinning. Mm -hmm. It'll be getting dizzy in a bit. No, he won't. And it went on for ages. It's not the sort of thing you have to watch whilst he's doing it. You just glance over now and again. Oh, he's still going. Bit, <laughs> bit of a waste of energy, though. It would have been good if at the end they said, and thanks to, you know, Terry, he's been whizzing round, and because of that, that energy is created, add the oven work in, we've got more food, or just something to make it seem more impressive than it was. But the colours and that were good, and any, it sort any. of kept the yeah. room quite cool. You know, it was quite hot in there, so you got him wafting about, creating a draft. I didn't know what... Okay, hold on. You know what he just said? This is supposed to be funny, I guess. Uh, he, he's, he's imitating, like, uh, the voice of a woman. She, she's talking to her, like, lover. And, and uh, she's like, uh, like, I miss you, I miss you too. And then, and then he's like, I'm going to come over right now. And she's like... Don't come over, my husband is in the bathroom. Ah. Entertainment, you know? I guess this is what, what passes as entertainment. <laughs> Can I say? Anyway, move on. What's going on with the comedian? I mean, jokes anyway. Even if he spoke English, humor's different, isn't it, everywhere you go? <laughs> it was a terrible night. Okay, hold on. You know what? That one is going to require some explanation. So this is a little bit of a... I'm going to go with a little bit of a racist joke. Basically, there are people... I think they are in the, in the north of Egypt. They are more like villagers, you know? And this guy is like... Uh, this guy is kind of like a play on words saying... Uh, God, it's such a stupid joke. I don't even want to, want to explain it. But something to do with like... He was so stupid, he was supposed to... Uh, something like... Uh, Give somebody his ear, like listen to somebody, and then he took his ear. So it's something along those lines. It's so stupid. Really, you're like this guy should just be thrown off of the goddamn thing. Want it? Do you know what I mean? I hated it. It's, it's not my sort of thing at all, that. When whoa, I got whoa, up whoa. and was dancing, because I did it just because I thought, well, I'm here now, and Ricky and Steve don't want me to do it. They know I'd hate it, so I thought I might as well enjoy it. So I got up and had a dance. <laughs> Me that you know, I was the belly dancer as well. Seen. Uh, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that him on the camera? No, traffic's horrendous. It's not just the traffic, it's just beeping. Yeah. It just seems to be like people letting on to each other at four in the morning. Like, go home, what are you doing? Right. So, um, I reckon I've had about... I reckon I've had about... And I was kid. Uh, I mean, that song walked like an Egyptian. No one's walking. Everyone seems to be in a car at all hours. Just, just <laughs> okay, okay, go. Oh. It's not enough, is it? It's not enough to say something's amazing just because they're old. Because you can get an old person who's done that all their life. You wouldn't go, they're amazing. You go, no, they're a lazy bastard. They don't fucking old. So age shouldn't really make something special. Oh, shut up, Carl. Come on. Come on. I mean, something survived all those years. It's that big. We are still talking about it. I mean, all of that must, must make it special, right? I mean, come on. Come on, Carl. God. Okay. At least you should be happy it's not a wall, okay? <laughs> they've, been just, they've been sending him to see a bunch of walls over and over again. He should just be happy it is not a wall. That's it. I'm not worrying about who built them, because it's ages ago, really. When I first bought my first house, I didn't go, who built it? I want to know, is it safe? Is it structurally sound? Um, 
Is it haunted? Hold on. Oh, is it haunted? <laughs> okay. See, this is exactly, again, <clears throat> world small, point of, points of reference, the same. They never change. Like, well, um, if I buy a house, it's like, it's the pyramids. It's the pyramids. It's not a house. Okay? They are, they are like thousands of years old. <sighs> Oh, look at that danger. What's the rush? It's been here for 4,000 years. What's he doing? <laughs> ah, oh, my arse. <laughs> this is mental. It's a lot of... Uh... A lot of shit. Not impressed, are you? You don't normally see any of this, do you? You don't see that many buses there. It looks like it's sat in the middle of like a nice desert. Mm. But it isn't, is it? It's just a building site. <laughs> I'm half tempted to ask for hard at. Uh... I mean, it's not even bits of old pyramid, is it? You've got all sorts of, you've got bricks here from like council houses and that. It's literally just uh, people have brought up shit and dumped it here. <laughs> It's like some out of Planet of the Apes. <laughs> Baron. Whoa, what's that? Is it dead windy? It's like a little tornado, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you don't see that in the brochure, do you? <laughs> That's a good point. Shitty old nappy whizzing through the air. Yeah. I tend to leave that out. Mm -hmm. You see, I've always wanted to see a tornado. That, that, uh, that is on my wish list before I die. Because it's natural, it's a natural thing that I don't understand. Yeah, directly before you die. Okay, verdict, Carl? If that was like a little housing estate, you'd go, yeah, any will do. <laughs> they all the same size. The design actually is a bit odd, isn't it? Because the square footage, the floor size is massive. But the upstairs bit is, is <laughs> tiny. <laughs> Let's compare it to an actual house. Hi, Carl, mate. It's Steve here. How was the pyramid? I imagine it was uh, extraordinary, wasn't it? Uh, Ricky and I have got another another treat for you. We've tracked down a couple who, they're lovely people, but they've got sort of different views, alternative views on the pyramids. And uh, they're called Andrew and Saya. Let us know how you got on. The Great Pyramid was built by Atlantean survivors with extraterrestrial help. Ah, and that they built that the pyramid okay. with the help of sound, because right. sound was used uh, very right. much in Atlantis. Right, right, I'm sure. I, I, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of science and a lot of evidence presented to, you know, to, to this theory, I'm sure. It's, it's not a lot of, uh, you know, bullshit at all, I'm sure. It's like, if you, we have, you don't have a shred of evidence for this. You can't just say something was so good it must have been built by aliens. Okay, this episode is really getting to me, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Moving on. Just saying that they use the pyramids that night. Uh, they just nip in there to do some meditation and what have you. So they said I can go with them, but I've got to learn to do some meditation first. So they've just given me some words to learn. Uh, once I've done that, you know, they said they'll take me in. So it seems fair enough, doesn't it? Anek Shashen Wabainu. Are they washing up before we do this? <laughs> Leave the washing up, uh, Sayer. It's spoiling the mood a bit. <laughs> Leave this. Yeah. And next, Shen, we're If you open that door, I just put those there. This is madness. Gandhi wouldn't have washed up before he starts. <laughs> you can't escape noise in here. Masks. And next, this is, this is, by the way, this is true in, in most of Arab Muslim countries. Like, like you're gonna find mosques all over the place. So get ready for, uh, you know, for uh, Sunni mosques to do this, what you heard five times a day, and for Shia mosques to do this three times a day. Get ready for that if you're ever visiting one of these countries. How long is this gonna go on now? A couple of minutes, yes. two, three minutes. It's five times a day. You might as well finish the washing up. <laughs> Don't wash the washing up, Andrew. 
I tell you what, I bet they don't show you around a property around here at certain times of the day, do they? No, probably not. When you're buying a place. Come on, we've got to get going quick. Why? Just let's go. You buy it, this kicks off. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That was all a bit weird, wasn't it? But I, I liked it, do you know what I mean? I'm into that sort of weirdness. Oh, Plus it means okay. that That's I'm actually going to go inside a pyramid tomorrow. It's all worth it, wasn't oh, it? Wow. Got another mozzie bite there. It's well itching, that one. I think it's that same mozzie. It's in the room more than the cleaners are. They haven't, just, they haven't shown the faces still. I don't think they're going to now, I can't see the point. <coughs> it's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. No climbing. I wonder if people follow that. Oh, he didn't, so yeah, he can't. Yeah, I open it. Yeah. Are you impressed yet, Carl? I've um, I took a little bit of it. You took a, a little, little bit, bit of, of it. A little bit of the uh, pyramid. Got a little piece. Is that legal? Uh, I don't think you're meant to. But it was loose. I didn't ship it off. It he, he, yeah, Carl. But but you see, there are some places where it's illegal for you to take some something from there. Like for example, for uh, for Mecca. There are certain places, like they have a mountain there that people climb. Sometimes there's gold in that mountain, like teensy weensy bits of gold. Um, and they don't allow you to take anything with you. Anything you have, you got to go back, put it back, you know. <laughs> so so I don't know what the hell Carl was thinking. Don't... Uh, so typical, Carl. You know, like always thinks, I'll just take that. No, no. It's not a Mars bar. Put it back. It's anyway. Just, it's better than the tap that you buy, isn't it? It's better than, you know, buying a little Egypt fella on a on the back of a camel. Okay. But it's weird, isn't it? You're allowed to just wander about on them. If this was at home, there's no way this up would all be roped off, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be allowed anywhere near it. Hmm? It's not treated like a wonder. It's just like a man-made mountain, isn't it? I'm just with they Andrew and Sayer again. Uh, they're going to teach me some more chanting before I go in the pyramid. I don't know what's going on in her head, but, you know, I like her. I think she believes in all the energy thing that she's going on about, you know. I, I want to believe it. You know, it'd be nice if, if something happens, or, you know, if I feel like a bit of a, oh, what's that? Let's see what happens. What's going to happen? Times like this, when I think, you know, I used to have a proper job. The XFM job. This is it then. I'm actually uh, going inside a pyramid, which is good. I, I didn't even know you could go in them. I just thought they were like a, a solid structure. Do you know what I mean? Just a load of blocks. But uh, you can get in them, so. Pretty exciting, isn't it? We are now in the center of our planet, in ancient PowerPoint. Our next session will be. I wasn't that happy about you know getting in there. I'm not good in small spaces anyway. Whoa! You know what I mean. I, I, I wouldn't get in there. I don't like this. <coughs> so there's a dead body in there? Yeah. But I've got in somewhere with some... 
All them injections I had, it'll be alright, it'll cover me for that, will it? I mean, it was alright, you know. Nothing happened, did it? You know, I got a little bit of a twinge, but I just think that was cramp. I don't know, she seems fed up, really. But I didn't get anything, but there's no point pretending, is there? That's sort of humour in her. I'll tell you what it reminded me of. Me going to a wedding for Suzanne. She likes going to weddings, I hate going. And it was like, I went, I did it all for her. But because I didn't enjoy it, I still get a, a, a moaning at the end of the night. And it was a bit like that, I did all that for her. How many times in this episode has he done the small world point of reference thing? How many, how many times has he done it? Like, enough already, Carl. We get it. It's always, the only comparisons he has is Suzanne, his mom, Auntie Nora, you know, his dad. Is like, what? What? Just, just expand your mind, Carl. And he was pretty comfy. I mean, you know, <laughs> compared to the Windsor. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's than, 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 than. I could probably get my head down in there. Yeah. I mean, a, look at the state of this place. All right, mate. Ricky, I hope you had a good time in Egypt. Did you enjoy the hotel? I picked that one out myself. Of course you did. Um, see you later. Bye. It's not funny, is it? What? Well, I've been living next door to this. <laughs> Did Ricky put me in that one on purpose? Yes. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did it on purpose, yeah. This is the room Michael Palin was in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, is he gonna put up his own picture? <clears throat> nice. <laughs> <My sister. laughs> nice. I don't know if, I mean, they say travel broadens the mind, but I don't know if it does. <laughs> Buggers it up. I'm knackered. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> God. I mean, th th that's exactly the point, right? Like, like all your, this is so obvious th that this is the first episode. Because it's so different from the others. He's just so shocked by every small thing, you know. But, but if you look at the other episodes, he's already gotten a taste of it. So he's like, yeah, you know, I can survive this. I can do this. He's, st he's still not happy, but he just does it. He goes through it. But this one, every little thing, all he can think of is his family, his, his you know, his Manchester and, and state houses. And, you know, it's like, <laughs> this is the point, is that this is all you can think of. That's why you're in Egypt. That's why you go to, to, to India and Mexico and, and you know all these other places so that you can have something new in your mind. God, this he did that. God, this this episode was a little bit annoying to be honest because it's just he got on my nerves a little bit more than once to be honest. And <laughs> it's like like it's not that bad. I mean, maybe the hotel was a little rough, but like the things that he did, he had KFC. He went to KFC, and then he had Pizza Hut, and he drank Pepsi, and he and he went on a cruise on the Nile at night, and he saw some entertainment, and like like he went to the market, and, and what what he went to a museum, he went. What is the problem? Like there was nothing. There was barely anything bad in this episode, and still he's complaining. God damn. God damn, Carl. Whew, okay. I need to calm down. <laughs> okay. Well. We, <laughs> we've survived yet another one. Whew, what's the next one? I think the next one is Brazil. I bet that, you know what? I'm going to prepare for, for some nudity or something, you know, risque in, in, in the Brazil one. It's got to be. There's no way he's going to go to Brazil and, and not get, you know, and not, and not have Ricky and Steve expose him to the weirdest, you know, I don't know, stuff. Brazil has a lot of weird stuff, to be honest. So, I don't know. But yeah, I'm prepared for that one. 
<laughs> For now.